Hi, I'm Bob Berg. We're down in Clearwater, Florida. Uh, right behind me is Honeymoon Island, and we're right next to the causeway that goes over to the island. Today we're going to go over there to those piers and check them out for some shell cracker fish. They call them uh, sheep's head, and uh, they eat the barnacles off the piers. They're pretty wily fish. We'll see if we can get one. I'm uh, fishing with an atlatl and a dart. These are from Thunderbird Atlatl. Of course, Thunderbird Atlatl is our company. This particular dart is a harpoon. It's got a string on it so you can re retrieve it. And that end of it has a, a sharp point with a, a couple barbs in it. And you stick a fish and uh, pull it in the boat. It's as simple as that. Well, it's not that simple. <laughs> it's pretty hard to do, but it's fun. Today we're fishing with James Mead, who's our engineer. He, he lives down here in Tampa, and uh, he's, he's a great boat operator <laughs> and boat builder. We're using Expandacraft uh, equipment that we recently purchased from Wesley Expandacraft. I don't know what his last name is. He, his name must be Wesley Expandacraft. <laughs> Basically what we have here is two Expandacraft uh, pontoons on either side of our canoe and we built a deck on it. It, it seems to be a fairly seaworthy craft. It's difficult to, to uh, turn it uh, in a sharp corner. It, it's, uh, it likes to go straight but we always want to go crooked. <laughs> it, it's hard to sneak up on a fish when you can't turn your boat. Yeah, the secret to catching these fish is getting up close to them without scaring them away. They, they're they very wary fish, you know. They don't like to uh, present themselves for a nice clean shot. It's not as easy as shooting carp up in uh, Kentucky. Holy cow, these things are tough to hit. The other problem is they're, the fish are very close to the piers and my, my spear will stick into the wood of the pier and then I can't retrieve it. I can't get it out of the, I can't get the spear point out of the, out of the pier. It comes off, you know. So the trick is, is to find a fish that's in between the piers that's shallow enough so you can get a dart right into it. And uh, every now and then you can do it. There's one right there, see him? They're here. The fish usually hang out next to these uh, piers. You see those shellfish that are, the barnacles that are stuck to the posts? The sheep's head eat those things. They have really big teeth and they gnaw on those and eat the little creatures that live inside of them and uh, it's difficult as heck to get them because they're often right next to the, the post or, or too deep or whatever, you know. Why do you think they call them sheephead? Uh, actually, I think it's because the, the teeth that are in their mouth look like sheep's teeth. They're big. There's one really deep. But it was gone before the dart got there. It, it intersected with the place where the fish was. <laughs> Let's put it that way. <laughs> Go forward. Got him, I think. No. Nope. That was a big fish. There he is, right there. You see one down there? <laughs> I, I see one right on the opposite side of there. See it? <clears throat> Missed. It was deep. Oh, there's one right there. He 
outmaneuvered me. <laughs> I see way more of them over on that side. I think the jig is up on this side. We could get one of these comrades. I could probably get him right there. <laughs> I was saying hi to the comrade. <laughs> down and get him out of the water. Don't let him, let him pull off. Okay. There, it's a sheep's head. It's pretty cool. We're going to go eat it. <laughs> it's going to be good. We're co we'll cook it over an open fire. What do you think? Should we get well, there were like three of them Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, so I got one. I, I could... I can live with one. So we finally got a fish, guys. We're going back and we're going to cook it on, on the grill. We're going to have that for supper. So sometimes fishing isn't about getting the biggest fish or the best fish or the prettiest fish. Sometimes it's about just getting a fish. You know, and having fun doing it. Yeah. Uh, when you hang out with your friends and your and your family, and you go fishing, it's the best deal in the world. 